Welcome back to the next video on modeling a flowable application. In this video, we will build out the subprocess that we are referencing from the call activity that we created in the last video. A separate instance of this process will be created for each evaluation in our evaluations array. Create a user task after the start event and label it approval task. We will want to assign this task to each evaluator. To do this, we will use the evaluator's user ID. The evaluator is within the evaluation object that we passed into this process, so we reference it using evaluation.evaluator. We will then need to reference the evaluator's ID, which is stored inside of the evaluator. The assignee will therefore be evaluation.evaluator.id. Create a form reference for this user task called approval form and drag a text field onto the form. We will label this text field comments. We want to add the comments to the evaluation variable, so we will change the value of comments to evaluation.comments. Note that when referencing a variable in a form, the double curly brackets notation is used. Using the dollar sign single curly brackets notation references variables in a similar way, but only applies in processes or cases. Additionally, we will want to store an approval Boolean variable in the evaluation object. Place a checkbox in the form, label it approval, and change the value to evaluation.approval. Finally, drag an end event after the task to complete the subprocess. Now, after the evaluator fills out this form, the evaluation object will now have the comments and approval variables stored inside in addition to the evaluator object that was already stored there. Save, publish, and go to Flowable Engage so we can see this in action. Once we start a new evaluation process and then complete the team select task, we can see that there are two approval tasks for each of the users that we selected to be evaluators. Also, if we look under the sub items tab, we can see the two individual evaluation processes that were created. Another good way to get an idea of which processes are running is to go to Flowable Inspect and look at the execution tree on the left. If we click on one of the individual evaluation processes in the tree, look at its variables, and then click on the evaluation variable, we can see the evaluator contained within. Go back to the execution tree and expand one of the subprocesses to reveal the task within. Click on this task, fill out its form, and then hit complete. Looking at Flowable Inspect in this subprocess, click on Evaluation and note that the approval and comments variables have been added to the evaluation object. We can also see the root variables, which belong to the parent evaluation process. Note that if we look at the evaluations object, we can see that the approval and comments have not yet been passed from the child evaluation object to the parent evaluations object. We will look at one way to pass the child evaluation containing the approval and comments back into the parent evaluations in a future video. Thanks for watching.